Saquon is a big part of our offense, as you said before, is a is a great leader, and I'm, I wish him all the best at the Giants. But uh, Trace has been the same. You know, he's been the same leader. He's been he, nothing has changed much. He's just taken on a much uh, bigger role offensively. And I don't think us not having Saquon is detrimental to you know Trace being Trace. The Iowa game, uh, that last drive. Um, just his demeanor, just as a defensive player, watching him in the huddle, um, you know, at, at the timeout leading up to that drive, just so calm. This is just who he is. This is just what he does. Um, I think everybody could look at him and and feel that they were in good hands and that we had a, a real uh, shot of winning the game. Um, and people ask, uh, you know, how is he able to do that? How is he able to stay so calm with it? phrase comes out that's just Trace. Trace has made me a better player and he's made a lot of players on our team better players. You know, it's credit to his leadership, credit to uh, the way he works and, and you know the standard that has been set here. For me it's just been you know, being a little bit more vocal um, as the more than I have in the last couple of years just making sure that that standard that you know those guys set before that precedent that's been there it doesn't drop off that we're still working to that same standard. He leads great by example he's one of those he's the type leader where he may not always be screaming in your face and things like that but if it's necessary he'll bring that out and then like everybody stands still everybody listens everybody tunes in. He'll tell you not what you want to hear but what you have to hear. Um, he's become more vocal, but he's, I don't think he's ever going to be or going to be a guy who's overly verbal. He's a guy that's going to do it through his actions. You know, we're still working with the same confidence that, you know, we're going to do the things we have the last couple of years that just because, you know, one guy's gone or a couple guys are gone, it's not going to change how we are or who we are on offense. Where the appreciation and the respect comes from me, there's never a downtime. There's never a time where he has an off day. There's never a time where he doesn't come in with the right approach. I need Trace to lead the way he leads. I need him to be the best version of himself. And that's what Trace has done. So we talk about the importance of leadership and holding guys accountable and those types of things. And, and Trace just, you know, kind of like you're saying, has, has stayed very authentic and true to who he is. You know, Trace is a winner, you know, as you guys see the last couple of years, you know, that he, he refuses to lose and his competitiveness and refusing to lose is, is awesome. He's just passionate about it. You know, he never wants to lose. I was just playing basketball with him yesterday and he, he is not a person that wants to lose at all. You know, he takes everything serious. He's just a ball. He's just a gamer. He always wants to win. He's just something that players want to be around. You know, there's nothing that, that Trace doesn't want to win, given whatever the circumstance is. You know, Trace is going to battle and, and try to find a way to win. And I think that, you know, obviously carries over in the game of football. You know, it's going to help him be successful in, in you know, all aspects of life. The Iowa game, definitely. I remember defense coming off the field. And I looked Trace into his eyes. I was, like, I was like, let's go, let's rock. I think there was like a, less than two minutes left in the game, and we're on our own. And, he drove down the field and scored the game winning touchdown. I mean, I just remember I saw him on TV and when he scored the touchdown, I was punching him in his chest. Just everything he does for our team, and it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, I think the biggest thing with Trace is, you know, he's, he's a winner. You know, he always has been. You know, when we recruited him, I, I want to say in high school, four straight state championship games that he played in. I think among those four seasons, I think he may have had five losses. Uh, in his high school career. So he's just a guy that I think not only does he play at a high level, but I think he makes the people around him better. I mean, I wouldn't say that you remember the losses more so than the big wins. I mean, you know, I can look back, I, I remember all the state championship wins in high school. I remember winning the Big Ten championship or beating Ohio State, you know, winning the Fiesta Bowl. I mean, those, those stick out, but I do think that the tough losses stick with you just the same. You think about those a little bit harder and longer. They'll eat away at you a little bit more. You try and learn more from, obviously, from the losses than you do from the wins, because there's definitely a lot more to be learned from. The other thing I would tell you is he's got an edge to him that people probably don't understand. You know, uh, he is so nice, and he's really probably very nice on camera and those sort of things. But for lack of a better word, he's got a little prick to him. And that's the thing that probably sets him apart that other people, people don't see. I mean, he's had success at every level so far. Um, I'd find it hard to believe they wouldn't be successful at the, at the next level as well. I see Trace going on after the season and having a great lengthy NFL career. You know, I think that, you know, people look at his height and they want to they wanna downgrade him. And quite frankly, just look at the guys and, and, and what's going on right now in the NFL. And you're going to see guys who look a lot more like him than, you know, 
than, than the other way around. I see a guy when I watch Drew Brees, he's a guy that he's extremely consistent in what he does. He's not super, super flashy. He's not doing anything necessarily out of the ordinary. He's just extremely consistent. He's extremely accurate with his throws. He's always putting the ball in places where his guys can catch and run with it afterwards. You know, everyone points out that, you know, he's not this, he's not this, he's not this. All I know is if I'm an NFL team, I take him and I know that I've got a guy who's gonna go in and give me a chance to win every game. Trace is a guy that, you know, he's gonna live at this upper percentage of decision-making on the field, off the field, leadership, uh, community service, uh, just all-out production. I think that they could definitely say that, you know, Trace was was a very, you know, very big piece of of getting, you know, the program back on, on track where it needs to be. I think Trace will go down as one of the beloved Penn State history, not just for what he did on the field and for his production and, and those types of things, but for the timing of it as well. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, uh, came to Penn State at a, at a challenging time. When we all came in as freshmen, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be the, you know, the guys that brought Penn State back to the glory that it deserves to be in. You know, for a lot of our lives, that's where Penn State was. And right before we got here, it wasn't necessarily in that light. And I think we just wanted to bring Penn State back to that glory. And I want to get this team there and, you know, kind of the legacy will define itself afterwards.